Hello, and welcome back to The Witness. My energy last time was reaching a dangerous low point, but now there's been some time to re-energize. And have I re-energized? What does it even mean to feel like you're full of energy? Can't say I know that feeling, but I think I'm good enough for The Witness. So, let's continue on here. Also, I did notice just one of the main things I was, like, frustrated by was that it was so hard to, like, find the one solution to these puzzles. And, I mean, I just noticed in editing that, hey, you can actually solve this, at least this one, in two ways. I couldn't see more than that, but we can do what I did here, but you can also just do that kind of rotation. Oh, there we go. That works, too. Just a tiny thing. I saw some other uh, alternatives on the two uh, town puzzles as well. But we'll maybe get to those later, it doesn't really matter. Anyway, let's continue on here. And I, I guess there used to be a thing going over here or something, and that's broken down. So we can't go this way. And we can probably rotate this around. However you do that, but let's uh, hold off on that for now and just see what we have here on the blue side. Yeah, this stuff is powered as well, so I guess we'll wait with rotating stuff and we'll just explore further here. So, let's see, let's just dive straight in into new puzzles. So all of these can be rotated however I wish. There's one, four, and then the three and the four, okay. So... Um... Like, I could do this kind of... Well, if I could go up, I could have done that kind of thing for the two... Wait, no, but then I'm not encompassing this, so never mind. Uh... There, we need to get this one somehow. And then... Wait. Uh... Hmm... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. If we go up here... Like, I'm just trying to think what the area would look like. The area would look something like this, correct? Yeah, this area would be correct, but... I don't think I can do that and then end, end it off at the end. So something needs to change with this part. Maybe we do the four down here instead? And then... And then, like, the three here, and this one up here? Is that possible? If I do that? Ah, no. It, yeah, it would be, like, this kind of shape, right? So right here, we would have the four there, the three here, and this one right here. But I can't end it off like that. So I probably have to end it off in some way, like... Uh... Coming from one of these sides and doing, like, this sort of thing to end it off. And then, if we just encompass... Like, if I if I just do that, I've, I've now covered those two, but then we need to include... Wait! There! Right? Sorry, I just got a text. Now the four is lying... Horizontal at the top, the three is at the top right, and then the L shape is at the bottom. There we go. That works. Okay, and this one needs to be combined. Here we have a four long L. All right. So what does that mean exactly? We can't combine this one with any one of these. No, we can. We could have, like, let's say it's one of these types of shapes. Now, I'm not encompassing the uh, giant L, but this would work if the giant L was down here. I now have the giant L at the bottom right, and then the two diagonal cubes were, like, both attached to the, the L. So that part would work. 
but then how do we encompass all of it? If I just like close these in, what do we need? What more do we need here? We need at least one more square here for the two. Now we have the T on the left side and then the two diagonal is fine. And then we need the L here. Wait, so can't I do like this? Then No, then I wouldn't I wouldn't encompass this one. If I go up like that maybe? No. No, it's too far. I kind of like this sort of idea of starting there. Now we have these two. How do we attach the L to that? Uh, just like this. No, damn it. Uh, this is the correct shape. Right here, everything is included, but of course this one isn't included. So that doesn't work. So... Maybe I have this L lying like that or something? So like right now we have those two encompassed and then if I just go... How do I add in this guy? But you can rotate. I haven't been trying to rotate this one. You can do that. So I could have like that one like that or something. And then... The L... Maybe, maybe like this or something. And then there we go. There we go. There we go. I think I got it here. So right now, the uh, four long L is right here. There's the four long L. Here's the diagonal 2, and then here's the T. Okay, no problem so far. I mean, it's taking a little while, but I feel like I'm understanding these decently. Now, we need like a 6 thing here, and then the addition of another L, which I can't do here. And then another L over there as well. Wait, don't I just do... Hold on, so I have the 6 in the bottom. The, uh... The left L... Yeah, it's it's just that. This L is right here. This L is right here. There you go. That wasn't... That wasn't that bad. I feel like this one was harder than this one, but... I guess that's subjective. And oh boy, now we get... An intense one. So we can combine these into just a 6-1, but maybe I can't do that because they're so far apart. If we instead try to, like, have them included here, if I just do something like... Just for reference, doing something like this. What happens here? We now have... No, none of this works at all. We can have this one... Like that, and then we add in this thing right here, say, ah, oh, no, yeah, that's the question, how you include these two, they're the tricky ones, I feel. This one could, maybe we don't make, like, one giant thing, we could actually just make... Uh, like, have this one be separate. That's possible. Hmm. Yeah, these ones are really tricky. They're, they're hard to think about. Wait, if I just do... This, uh, if I just do this, I've encompassed everything properly, except the lone dot. But then, 
can I change this somehow to encompass the lone dot as well? What if I lower this down like so, and then just the, the one dot on its own? There we go. Yeah, it was that tricky thing. You, you get so used to, like, including everything in one giant shape, but you don't need to do that. This one can be on its own. And now we have this one lying like that, this one lying like that, and then the L shape right there. Sweet. All right. That wasn't too bad. What's happening now? Oh, oh, this drained. Nice. So we are draining these. I wasn't sure if that would happen. It kind of, it looked like we were going to do that, but at the same time, it felt like there's no way we're going to drain that. That looks too complicated to do or like too permanent. But I guess not. Yeah, we do have this thing as well, which maybe I can solve now. I mean, that doesn't look too hard. It's just like, oh, if we want to go to the left, we just do this thing. Where am I? Where am I going? What's happening? Oh, that's turning uh, vertical. This is turning horizontal while this one remains in the middle. I see. Could you go any slower, though? Seriously, what's the point of having this go so fucking slow? It's gonna take like three minutes to get across here. To a place we've already been, so there's like no point even. Oh boy. Wait. Oh my god, stop. Stop everything. Just do this instead. That works too, and then we just make a bridge and it's just permanently... A thing we can have then we don't need to wait for this ever again that's what you're meant to do all right at least I like I stopped this one before it got too far so it probably will be done at about the same time anyway all right I see maybe that's kind of the point too like it goes so slowly that the player is supposed to think man what an annoying thing to change can I just have it like fully extended always and yes, yes, you can. There we go. Now we just, yeah, it was very close together. So that's good. Now we just have a bridge. Sweet. This has uh, gotten destroyed somehow, so I can't do that. And we've been here. This is still looking super suspicious, but I don't know from where I could do anything with that. Is there anything, like, inside there? I kind of want to check that quick, just if I can see from, like, up here. Like a, a log or something? No. That would have been kind of a neat spot for it in there. Not seeing any environmental puzzles or logs, so let's just... Well, I'm not looking, like, at my feet. Maybe it's closer than I think, but I've been here before, so let's uh, leave this off for now and just get back to uh, the draining part, I suppose, here. So what did we do here? We drained this color basement. Shouldn't there be, like, a lot of fucking, like, uh, algae and gunk on the walls and stuff? What is happening here? What are we doing here? Oh. Wait, what does this mean? Oh, that's a... When it's a hollow, it's, like, remove one of these from the total. So we just do that? Ah, so here's only a two, but they do have to be encompassed, right? I can't do that. No. So if we keep them separated... Oh man, that's that's going to be weird. What if we keep them separated? Yeah, like right here, that doesn't work. If they're separated, they don't interact. So I have to do that or something. Or you could also do uh, this if you want. Doesn't matter. Okay. So, like, there's the, the two symbols there. And then we just go like that. There. 
Oh boy. How do we even start this thing? Oh, I think I see. We just do... No. No, I can't do that. Because I have to be able to end it there. So I just leave it there? There we go. Aha. Uh -huh. What did that do? What did I do? Nothing? Was this just here to teach me and not actually... Oh no! No, 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 I, I did something. Maybe I should try and figure this out as well. Because now I technically don't need to like go back here. So we could check over here if I could. But then how do we do this? How do we rotate this? So... If I want to go to purple... I would just like rotate this so like the platform would be here. This is the platform essentially. So... So it's just like, since it's a, a triangular, not triangular, well it's kind of triangular. It's a platform that has to be one of these locations, like in this plus sign. They have to touch, the platform will always touch two of the colors. So if we want to turn it to, say, uh, purple and red, just for the hell of it, we have to go... Oh wait, we have to start here. Like that. Oh, but these still have to be encompassed, I see. So we do that, and then do these on their own? Aha! So now we'll turn to the purple. This will be at the purple, this will be at the red, which I can't do anything with. Alright. That's a cool little way to, like, determine where to rotate the platforms. Well, I can just go now and let that do its thing. Ooh, this has been drained as well. Since when? Have all of them been drained? Huh. Yeah, so now we're just here. Nothing more to do here, but I guess we can go down and check this out. Whoa. What's happening here? Oh, hello. A poet once said, the whole universe is in a glass of wine. We will probably never know in what sense he meant that, for poets do not write to be understood. But it is true that if we look at a glass of wine closely enough, we see the entire universe. There are the things of physics, the twisting liquid which evaporates depending on the wind and weather, the reflections in the glass, and our imagination. I have to not be looking at this puzzle, I think. I can't, like, think about the puzzle and listen at the same time, so let's just ignore the puzzle. The glass is a distillation of the Earth's rocks, and in its composition... I'm just gonna walk around a little bit. ...of the universe's age and the evolution of stars. What strange array of chemicals are in the wine? How did they come to be? There are the ferments, the enzymes, the substrates, and the products. There in wine is found the great generalization. All life is fermentation. Nobody can discover the chemistry of wine without discovering, as did Louis Pasteur, the cause of much disease. How vivid is the claret, pressing its existence into the consciousness that watches it. If our small minds, for some convenience, divide this glass of wine, this universe, into parts, physics, biology, geology, astronomy, psychology, and so on. Remember that nature does not know it. So let us put it all back together, not forgetting ultimately what it is for. Let it give us one more final pleasure. Drink it and forget it all. Richard Feynman, 1963. Hmm. Well, yet again, not exactly sure what I'm supposed to get out of that, and especially, like, when it's down there, because we, we drank up all the water so we could go down there, or, I don't know, maybe that's that's something related to what that area will do once we solve the puzzle. Not really sure, but I guess just drink the wine and forget about it. That sounds like something I, I would do. Let's just not think too hard about it. 
I don't think that's what he meant, but that's how I'll interpret it for now, I suppose. Oh my god, what is happening here? And these look so clearly to be, uh, oh. No? Really? To be, like, environmental puzzles, but apparently not. Okay. So, so we just do... Oh, no, no. I was gonna do this shape. That would work, but then we can't get to the exit. So... Oh, I think I get it. Uh, wait. No, that's not right. Is it just like that? No. Um... Why is that not right? Hold on. Why is that not right, actually? Because it removes one... Oh, no, no. Right, yeah, it removes one from the, uh, the horizontal one. But then the vertical one is still right here. So that doesn't work. And yet, yeah, this, this doesn't work either. That's what I just did in another way. Damn, how do you fit everything in here? Wait, just, just like that. Yeah, there we go. So now it removed one from the vertical one, but the horizontal one is still here. Okay, I think we could have done that like this way as well. Yeah, okay, either way works. That's good. Hmm. No? Wait. No, I guess these squares do count as well. Like, if they're separated, then... Hmm. So wait, if I do something like this, what happens now? We have the four at the bottom, and then the vertical one gets only one removed. We would need to remove one more. Wait, so I do this. There we go. Okay. Oh boy. So this one, let's just make the shape, and then... Well, we have to make the shape with it in it as well. Like, if I were to do this... Oh, then it's not in it. Damn it. If I were to make this kind of shape, what would happen here? So this would be wrong because there's one too many, so I would have to remove one square here, but... I could also just do this, right? So it removes the bottom left piece of the Z. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Alright, I think I'm gonna have to leave it off there, and we'll continue here, and then I'll go back to the other, uh, drainage part and see if I can figure that out. That puzzle looked kind of insane, but just because there are so many parts to it, maybe that means it's actually not as bad as you think. I don't know, fingers crossed, we can, we can see. At least for right now, my brain is not fried, but hell, at some point, if I just get too overwhelmed with this one type of puzzles, maybe I should just take a break and, like, go do something else, just, like, go over to the quarry or docks or whatever they are and, you know, start learning about those types of puzzles. And then we'll come back and do the more advanced color and Tetris puzzles later on or something. Because, yeah, last time was a bit too much. It, it ended up being just too much of the same type of puzzle and just staring at screens and just getting overwhelmed. But, yeah, just keep things in moderation and they might be fine. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!